Hey everyone, it's Samantha Jamerson. Welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've done a video. Work has just been very busy. Home life has been very busy. And currently the reason why I'm doing this video is because my husband is inside um, getting knee surgery done. My husband got injured and he needs surgery on his knee. So it is Thursday, I believe today is the 11th of um, March. So I just dropped him off. I wasn't able to go in with him due to the um, COVID restrictions. So um, it's in Vineland and I'm kind of just sitting out in the parking lot. And yes, I could technically go home, but I think I'm just gonna hang out in here. Just God forbid something happens. So I thought while I'm sitting in the car waiting for him to get done, I'll shoot a video on what is inside my purse. You guys really responded and liked the video of what was in my work bag. So I figured while I'm sitting in the car, waiting for him to get through his surgery, I'll shoot this video. Um, so I hope you like it. Feels good to be back. I know it's been a couple of uh, weeks since I've done a video and I'm really sorry, um, but I'm gonna get back on track. So if you want to see what is inside my purse, then please keep watching. So let's start with the bag itself. This is the Louis Vuitton uh, Serene bag. I think it's a Serene MM bag. And I fell in love with this bag for many of reasons. Um, one of my go-to bags that I would assume that I would really like would be the Never Full bags. And I don't have one and I may get one in the future, but the reason why I'm not crazy about those bags is because yes, it's large, which I love, I love big bags but there's like barely any pockets. It's basically this big hole of, you know, nothing that like you throw all your junk in and I feel like you're digging around to find something. Um, it doesn't have little studs on the bottom. Not that I would necessarily put this purse on the floor, but if you need to put it somewhere, there's really like no protection. So yes, I like those bags, but I was looking for a bag by Louis Vuitton that was large enough to hold everything that had pockets, zippers, and studs. So that's where this bag came into play. And like I said, this is a Serene MM bag. It has the studs at the bottom, which I love. It has two straps and it has these gold chains as straps, which I also love. I felt like it was very unique. Like, yes, the monogram bags are very, very popular, but I felt like this was a little mixture of everything. And the chains I just thought were such a unique, um, but something that's always in style type of look. There was a guy walking by and he was looking at me like I was crazy, so I stopped talking. I probably look so crazy because I'm literally sitting in the parking lot shooting a YouTube video, but whatever, I gotta kill some time. So, okay. So other reasons why I love it besides the double handles and the chains, it has a snap closure pocket. I have no idea if you can even see this. It has a snap closure. It's like this um, magnetic snap thing right here that snaps close here. So there's a pocket here as well as on the other side, there's another pocket and then it zippers, which is amazing. I love purses that zipper, it just makes me feel better like carrying like certain things in there that I would not want to get stolen or fall out. So inside the bag, these are just some of the items I have inside the bag right now. There's two pockets right here and then also a bigger area here to hold larger things. So let's start with what's inside the bag with the outside pockets first. Yes, everything that I'm pulling out of my bag is in my bag. I always get made fun of by like my mom and my husband that my bags are so heavy because I do like to have almost everything that I could possibly need in a certain situation with me. So starting with the outside pockets, number one, which looks very nasty, is this nail file bag. Um, I get my nails on every two weeks and because of COVID they have you bring like your own nail file and like other sander thing. So they gave this to me like months ago whenever they opened back up. So I keep this in my purse at all times because normally when I go and get my nails done, it's on a Saturday or it's right after work. So I keep one in my purse and I also keep one in my work bag as well. Then I have my keys. I have my mineral sunscreen re, um, re like application powder brush. 
So you guys know I am a makeup girl. I always have, always will be. But there's times where you need to reapply your sunscreen. And to be honest with you, that should be done every two hours. And I have so many women that say like, oh, but Samantha, like I put my sunscreen on first thing in the morning or it's in my makeup, whatever. I'm good, right? And I'm like, no, you have to reapply every two hours. But how do you do that if you're wearing a full face of makeup? Well, the Isden Mineral Brush On The Go Facial Powder is zinc oxide, which is hands down the best that you can get in terms of sun protection. So what I will do is when I know that I am driving somewhere far or if I am leaving work and it's sunny, UV rays are always present. So it's never a bad idea to reapply and it does not mess up my makeup at all. So I will kind of just do one of these if I need my sunscreen reapply but don't want to mess up my makeup. So this brush is amazing. So I always keep this in my purse. I have my key fob. I have two masks with me at all time. This is just like a basic kind of like paper one, if you will. Um, this one I'll use more for when I get my hair colored because I wear a mask obviously in her salon. So I will wear this so that if uh, coloring gets on it, it's fine because I can just trash it when I'm done. This mask is the Skims mask. I actually really like these and I like how their skin color, like they actually don't look bad like when you wear them out. Um, and they're super, super soft and I wash them each time I wear a mask. So that's in my side pocket. In my other side pocket are my glasses. I love big glasses. Um, I always joke that they should like cover your face. Um, I have a larger nose, as you guys know, it's one of my insecurities. So I feel like it kind of makes it look smaller. So these are my glasses that I have. I have a granola bar in here. I'm not sure why, but I do. Gum. What else? I have these little um, crystal things in my bag. I have no idea why. I had bought the um, KKW Gardenia, I think it's like her, I guess her crystal spray, which sp um, it smells pretty good. I actually leave it at work, but it came with these crystals. And I know they're supposed to be like relaxing and calming. So I just stuck them in my purse. I have my planner as always. I literally don't go anywhere without this. This thing is my life. Um, a funny story about my planner real quick. I left my planner in work on a Thursday, the day before I got married. And I had handwritten a letter to my husband for him to open up on our wedding day. And I tucked it nice and neat in my planner and I left it in my desk. I remember being at my rehearsal dinner and it just clicked like, oh my God, I left my planner. And don't get me wrong, I was upset that I wasn't gonna be able to give my husband the handwritten letter. I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do tomorrow morning. Like there's always things that I write out every single day. Like this is what you're doing in the morning. This is what you're doing in the afternoon. This is what you're doing in the evening. I was this close, this close to driving up into the city Thursday night after my rehearsal dinner to get my planner. And I think it was like my sister who was like, you're insane. Like your planner is good for the weekend. Worry about your wedding. But guys, I love my planner. I bring it everywhere because I have so many things written down. I don't like putting things in my phone. I've never been that way and I never will be that way. I know. So my planner's with me at all times. Then I have my wallet. I keep my checkbook in this bag. I don't really know why. It's a Victoria's Secret like glittery pouch, but I, I don't have an actual like cover for my checkbook. So I just keep my checkbook in here. Not that I, who writes checks out anymore, seriously. But I have it just in case. I have another, I've always have, as you guys saw from my um, work bag video, I always have like little pouches in my purse or in my work bag because I feel like it's just so much easier to organize it and keep it clean and then just like reach out for, reach in for the pouch that you need and then you can get whatever you want out of it. So in this one, I have a little compact mirror. I have my comb. I have medicine. So this is, I know this looks probably so weird but I always keep medicines in my bag because like my husband gets headaches quite frequently and so do I. So I have ibuprofen, Benadryl and melatonin. I like having the Benadryl and melatonin and you guys are gonna make fun of me. But if I'm out somewhere, like let's say Mike and I are out somewhere or let's say I bring my person to work one day and it's Monday, it's my late night and I'm driving home. I take Benadryl and melatonin before bed every night. It like helps calm me, helps me fall asleep. 
but I like to take my medicines about an hour and a half to two hours prior to going to bed because it takes time for them to work. So if I know I'm out somewhere and I know that as soon as I get home, I'm just going to want to shower, get my PJs and go to bed. I don't want to then take the Benadryl and melatonin. Um, I want to take it prior so that I'm sleepy and I can fall asleep as soon as I get to bed, as soon as I get home from wherever I'm at. So I pack this because if I know that I'm on my way home and I'm like 45 minutes away or an hour away, I'll take my Benadryl, I'll take my melatonin. So that an hour and a half from now it kicks in and as soon as I get home and get like in the shower and, and ready for bed I'll be sleepy and I can fall right asleep. I also have an acrylic fake nail set. The reason why I do this is because I am someone who always has to have her nails done. I have always been this way if I break a nail like either they all have to come off or I have to like make an appointment and get in that night. So 98% of the time I have French on my nails. Um, I, or if it's not French, it's this light pink, but 98% of the time it's French. So what I do is I always keep this with me because God forbid a nail breaks and maybe now being a mom and having my time being very limited, maybe I can't get in to get my nails done for a couple of days or even a week or whatever. So I will just use one of these fake nails and I'll glue them on. So funny story real quick is this nail and this nail actually were lifting. And sometimes when your nails are lifting, if you have acrylics, you know, you just like have to rip it off. So these two actually came off on Sunday and it is now Thursday. My nail appointment is not until Saturday. So I literally glued them back on and the glue is pretty strong because they've been on ever since. And now I can get to my nail appointment with all my nails on and then I'll just pop them off right before my appointment. So I like to keep a set of acrylic nails with the glue so that I am always prepared. So that is the one white bag. Then I have my smaller base bag. This is the same bag that I keep in my work bag. So I just like put it in whatever bag I need it for. And this is all of my lip, like lipsticks, um, lip liners, lip gloss, my powder to reapply. Like if I'm a little oily, um, I'll use that. I have my cuticle oil in here. I have my baby lips if I'm not wearing any makeup, but I want some like chapstick on my lips. I have some baby lips and it also comes with another compact mirror. So that's that bag. And then in those little pockets that I showed you that are like part of the bag, I have my little perfume that I can apply, reapply if I ever need a little spritz of something. This one's by um, Victoria's Secrets or Bombshell One. I have hand lotion and sunscreen. So this I keep if I'm getting my nails done because I get gel, they use the UV lamps to dry the gel. So I will put sunscreen on my hands before I get that done so that my skin is protected on my hands when my nails, uh, when the nail polish is trying to harden. So I always have that. I have a couple pens, sanitizer, hair tie and another baby lips. So that is a lot of items in one purse, but that's why I love this purse because it is big enough to hold everything, but I feel like things can just be organized very well because it has many pockets, zippers and everything like that. So if you're looking for, oh my God, being in the car and putting perfume on was a really bad idea. <clears throat> Um, if you're looking for like a new purse or if you're looking for ideas of what to put into your purse so you're always prepared, I truly believe that everything that I have, I never feel unprepared for a certain situation. So that's the way I like to live my life. So I hope you like this video and I hope you learned something. And if you're interested in getting a Louis Vuitton bag, but you're not really sure what you're looking for, what you want, I would highly recommend this bag. It is stunning beautiful um and i know with the never full bags real quick i probably will get one and i think i would get like the white and tan like checkered one um i know they they um there's certain storage i don't want to call them containers storage like things that you can put in your purse and i i want to say there's a brand called like some Sim samorgi or samorgi uh, brand that actually is like this thing that you put inside the Neverfull that comes with all these little dividers and sections for you to organize it a little bit better. So I think if I were to get one, that's what I would do. But I hope you like this video and this really did not take me that long. And I swear I've only been filming this for like 25 minutes, which means I'm probably going to be sitting in the parking lot for like three hours, but it's okay. I hope you like this video. And if you want me to do other videos like this, comment below and let me know. Otherwise I'll see you guys soon.